ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Please, warmly welcome, funny, handsome and whatever, Exploration Brothers! Tierra di Parma. 2019. It, yeah, it's a big thing for the camper vans. Yeah, it's a shitload of camper vans outside. Yeah, basically, the whole community in Italy came over here to see the new things. Why are we here, actually? We are here to see ideas and steal them to, for our camper van and make them cheap and DIY and kind of share with you. That's smart, eh? It is. So you benefit that. <laughs> Something is missing here, actually, no? You know what's missing? What? Some music. Oh, I don't like it. Let's change. Okay, <laughs> enough bullshit. Let's go and see some cool stuff here. Vamos. The East. So this is Hobby, uh, six meters when, similar to our style, just to compare the size inside. You want to come in? How do you feel? Well, we have the same domestic here, huh? Oh, really? Yep. But it feels smaller, right? These seats are definitely a bingo thing. But what I feel like is smaller, but it's more functional because you can turn around and, and, and start driving. When our way needs to, to walk out and come in, it's kind of pain there. It's quite small, huh? Yeah, these things need to be straight down. Fuck it. It's really hard to, to open because it's so small. And the, the spring is so tight. You that just have big fingers. And you actually have some storage. Quite decent, huh? You can put quite a few things here. This is for the gas. All of them having this air ventilation grill for the gas so it goes down. And syllable cupboard. How is it? I just the box. You can definitely see that the camper when has a different structure underneath. And it's much more strong, yeah. Enough space? Oh, you, you definitely can live here, huh? Eh? It's enough space for, for comfortable living, yeah? Yeah, and you have two beds, huge bathroom. It's gonna be uncomfortable to drive it around, but that's the price you pay for this luxury of space. Where's the storage for the stand-up puddle? You can put it on the ceiling again. Awesome. It's a real headache to choose one. Hey, imagine if you would decide to get one. It's like yeah, so many brands, so many choices. Designs, how you, and so different qualities. And different quality costs different money, huh? Imagine TV here. And I'm watching Exploration Brothers channel. And when I, when I sick of it, I'm just... I can lock it. It is interesting idea of uh, having a big comfortable handle, but then you have a just normal stopper and special design thing here. Yeah, you have switch for gas, uh, for the gas stove, switch for hot water, and maybe for the fridge if it's on the gas, not sure. And if you buy puzzle, you get some power. Extra power, 20 horses. You want some power. Let's go check it out, uh, because I always thought that this brand is, uh, is pretty popular in Europe. Look at this bag, it's moving. Okay. This is the shower, which you close yourself. Okay, let me close myself. So it's quite an interesting thing, huh? Tell me to trap, and I will help you. Okay. See, see, see. Are you right there? Yeah. Doesn't feel like you have much more space. A part of the bed. Bed is huge, actually. Yeah. You have two beds. Mm. This is second camper where we have these three switches. Which is kind of a cool thing to have, huh? So imagine if Max living here, I can just... <laughs> you have remote control, and whatever you have remote control, it's cool already. Yeah. But it's kind of strange that it's inside, so imagine the door is locked, so I don't know how you can get there. Yeah. Here. Ah, you see this thing? They also done the escape, the exit. I guess they watched our video. <laughs> <laughs> this van is so tall that I was expecting second bed to be here. So you'll have like three beds, I guess. Imagine what you can do in this space here. <laughs> tall cupboards, a lot of space. 
you really feel the space here. For me, it feels a bit like too much stuff inside, you know, like so many small things, everything is opening, you know, it's almost getting claustrophobic. Yeah. Do you, do you have this feeling? Too complicated, huh? Kind of, I wish it was just, just one bed on top, so fine. Many people have this idea of they go for camper running with the Lord, with the family, with friends, there are six of them in the camper van. This is never happens, huh? You're usually going one couple, that's it. And usually. maybe kids. Yeah. It's, it's, I would say 95% of the time you by yourself with someone or that's it. you're not going with four, two couples in one camper van. It's too much. It feels like you have a lot of space here, but basically all, all these spaces, they're all taken by electrical stuff, the gas tank. So it's all taken, you know? It's quite cool extension, eh? I, I, I would install something similar, eh? Yeah, but not bad. More or less, all of them are the same layout, eh? Yeah, exactly the same one. The, the only thing changes maybe the shower door, the sliding one, the normal yeah. one, and the beds, maybe two beds. Someone maybe get. And another. we're talking about six meters, five and a half meters. The longer it is, the maybe more bigger fridge you have here, the, or maybe you have a bigger wardrobe, bigger or beds. Some, yeah, and underneath you have same thing as a gas tank, water tank, batteries, and uh, some space. Another cool option to have two doors because you can open for more light. And here you have some cupboards. How does that feel? I think this is not bad for a couple doing a weekend in the nature. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you have you can stand here. It's quite a lot, a lot of space, right? Huh? Now with this roof, yeah. Let's uh, try to make a bed here. So this is the second bed. It starts at 41, no? Yeah. yeah. And uh, but the new car itself costs you 20 like this. So yeah. it's uh, for 20 grand you have all of these accessories. I think if you are casual camper running, maybe weekend uh, sleep one tonight. Yeah, just perfect. weekends in the mountains somewhere. Yeah. Or at the seaside. Yeah. Or big cities. I Rifter guess they're four by four. This one is ready for South Africa to be away from lions. And I always amazed how Citroen ruins their cars with this, all this, I don't know, decoration and uh, kind of. I think you just don't have feeling of style, Maxim. You have Citroen, so it's not a bad idea to make the same arrangement, the same color. Yeah, but let's check inside also. Huh? It's not just outside. What do you think about that? Bomba. You basically have two rails there. And here you have just two, two wires. I wouldn't mind to build one of these for ourselves because yeah, I feel like it's nice to have access to your water tank because sometimes I'll, you want to clean or something. See. I'm just wondering how they installed it, you know? So that's the difference between normal car and the camper van. So when you have a van, you have different structure on the bottom. When this one has a reinforced thing and much more stronger, we actually need a handbrake. So we will have a look if we have a screwdriver somewhere here. And we might uh, take we should, we should do that. I, couple, I do have, I do have a couple of pieces here. You know, they just buying this base of the cabin with the mm. with the frame, and after uh, putting the box and everything else on top. I'm just wondering how they draw here. You see, it's all like open. And this is brand new model, 2020. And with this option, you can go both directions like a train. But you actually, the downside is that you don't have enough space for the bed, so you just put the bed here. So yeah. if you struggle, if you just uh, got the new license, this is a great option for you guys. It's kind of cool this patch, huh? But you're definitely losing uh, the space, sorry, the, the open yeah, like one. The storage, yeah. So that's one of the solutions. If you have ugly walls and you want to cover with something, just like it material with something soft inside. Oh, no, this is brand new camper van and you see the plastic quality is kind of check this thing. cheapy crappy like though that thing is uh, it's supposed to open but I oh, know okay but still I feel like in a couple of years this is this is gone this is almost a defect I mean they, they, go, they have some good reparation offers here so you can just pay it straight away for a reparation in a couple of years with a big discount. So at least these guys are showing how the things are done inside. And in fact, you have electrical stuff, you have your heater. I like that they have this massive entrance, you know? Huh? Yeah, the massive exit. 
this is the best way to show you how the things are down here. So this is the toilet to enter the toilet. Other side, we have a fridge, wardrobe. Imagine to have this size of the window. Quite cool, huh? Huge one. And the water tank on the side. The water tank we have outside of the van. When it's cold outside, water is freezing. This is another nice option to have um, inside about the wheel, which is kind of saving the space. Storage, which is kind of cool for you know your washing gear, buckets, rags, and uh, all this stuff. Actually, they want to show this. Let's keep it open. The things you need to pay attention for is this seat. This brand new thing, and it's, it feels empty, baggy, and uh, I don't know. It doesn't feel like craftsmanship. It doesn't feel quality. Check this out. Check, check this hand. I don't know. So this is the place where they try to sell you the camper van. And you kind of come in and try and when you just even, when you, when you buy a bicycle, you come and squish the tires. It just feels, just feels cheap. And uh, how they, they want to sell me these things when these small details are uh, quite far from, uh, from being nice. I think you have to high standards, eh? I don't know, this is 55 thousand. <laughs> there are camper vans which, which are for 40 thousand. 40 thousand, I can accept this, but 55 is becomes more than average, so. Cozy. Well, I think we should definitely make some modifications in our front section of our van, eh? You like this? Because, I mean, it's, it's quite cool. You turn, you just put your legs, you just chill, and you have the windows here, and you have more functional space, let's say. Yeah, this one is 7 meters 40 and you kind of feel it because you have almost king bed and a nice big shower and uh, yeah how can you put these hooks for 85,000 euro I don't know you can see the cheap plastic and, and the cheap finish sometimes I feel People who designing these camper vans, they never use it, huh? I think they're just trying to keep the cost low. Pilote? Pilot? I think it's French company because I see the flag there. Come on, guys. I've done with this company. I've done with Jesus, this. But maybe if you'll pay 100,000 euro for the same one, they will make it better. We're not reviewing each camper van, but we're just coming in just because we're curious in some, some things. And the things are happening. So we came out with this outdoor shower a couple years ago and it feels like another idea stolen from us <laughs> well i'm not sure we came a couple of years ago and stole from someone else it's just people just well it, that's what's happening quite interesting idea for your charging cable is to have retractable cable which is uh coming out on the, on the bottom of the van yeah so let's check out this luxury van for our budget it's quite pricey one yeah it, it's kind of hard to make a DIY like this. I mean, you need just bigger van. Yeah, it's more expensive, but you have a bike, bike on the back. That almost feels like being on a small yacht. Yeah, kind of... This is, this is better, huh? This is just the toilet. The thing is, this bus costs you 200 something thousand euro, this model. Really? And yeah, obviously, the more you pay, the more you feel the quality because you can feel that they're not using here cheapy, GP. The switches are nice, the, the stainless is nice, feels more quality for sure. You can even make some uh, goodies here, huh? built on an Iveco base. I feel like a, being like a truck driver. This is the cameras, and you have a mirror here. Huh? Technology comes even to the camper vans. And I like that they have this flashing light, so they have this feeling of the party. Yes, yeah, strobing light. Okay. Yeah, so this is a kind of bigger design compared to what we're used to. I'm happy that they started to switch to more classic colors, gray and darkish color or without fancy, you know, blue and green uh, crap. And I'm curious to try the camper van with this bed, with the bed is in front of, uh, above the cabin. Because on the back it kind of becomes a kind of big, big loungy thing. And 
here you kind of chill out during the day, you tired it, you jump on, on top. Feel the size, and I am 1 meter 85, and I have easily 30 centimeters here, so it feels like a... Oh, wow. It, it feels like a palace, huh? Huge. Yeah, it's a cool thing, huh? And you have um, a heating here, coming out on the sides, some lamp, some uh, stuff. You can't even have some privacy there. But this can be a storage, a wardrobe. Yeah, at least one part of it. Yeah, it's quite a big thing on the front, but the bed is huge, huh? What do you think? I think it's alright for one night or a couple of nights. If you are in four, but if you need to sleep every night here, it's, uh, it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's a good solution for when you travel four people, when you need extra bed, this is cool, but otherwise, this is a new model of Grand California, at least new for me. And it, this for one, me either. this one cost 80,000 euro, and I feel like it's, uh, you can feel the quality, but it's pretty overpriced. But you need to see, because it starts from 56,000 euro, so maybe yeah. like basic model. Yeah, yeah, you have cool gadget, cool displays there inside, and, uh, and even if you touch the door and closing the door, it feels solid. Another cool thing is the extension to the, for the feet. You can feel the smell of the feet here, eh? I guess if you have quite a bit of money, this is, could be a good option because it's well designed. And, good uh, toy, good toy, yeah, definitely. And once you are into that small size camper vanning and you want uh, size and the quality, then this is uh, maybe a good solution. The design is uh, top. So they have quite cool idea about the shower, you see? You just connect to the door, to the back door. And you take a shower. I hope when you buy for 80,000 they give you some better quality stuff. Yeah. Right? The small things like shower handle, connect, chip connector, it makes you an impression of not high quality product in general. So they have a lot of space for improvement. Premium materials for the driver. The, the car itself feels really quality, like solid. There is a model without the kitchen, but he was saying Jesus, you spend 70 grand for the car and yeah, after... Yeah, you try and just... You want to you wanna sleep in the car and there is nothing apart of the bed. It's, maybe it's not a bad thing if you have a car like a normal seat and you once in a while you just sleep in the car, maybe you go in the mountains, but like... Yeah. If you have money for this car, you probably would... You have money for the nice hotel as well. Try to save 60 euro by buying a 70,000 euro car. Exactly. Yeah, so this is Sun Living, camper van. It's a quite interesting area simple solution for the bed. It can be two beds, or you just pull as a table. And you just put this mattress here, and you have a huge bed. It's like on the sailboat. It feels like it's a, it has a good value for money, no? A bit better, yeah, like uh, push and lock things, and things are... feels more solid. You have a big bed also on the top. Another solution from Adria, camper vans. It's yeah, quite interesting. You just can lift your bed all the way up to the ceiling. Yeah, the question is, when it's up to the ceiling, well, how are you going to use that space on the bottom? I guess when you need to use the camper van as a van and you want to transport mm. something, put some bikes or motorcycle, anything. Yeah, I guess that's the purpose. Yeah, think about your purpose, okay? Yeah, cool. <laughs> this is quite a unique solution because it feels like, like you have a huge entrance to the garden, depends where you park. <laughs> Indoor. These doors are definitely a cool thing. That is a trailer. Yeah, this is the first unique idea I've seen for now in the camper van in a long time. A really it's, cool concept, really. Yeah, you have an uh, openable roof, so it becomes a cabrio. It's definitely a cool thing to drive like this with the open uh, roof. But even like just to hang out here, you know? Yeah, and they thought even about the dog. Check the front. Every camper knows that to get a fire you need a tinder. So I downloaded the tinder app on my phone, but there is still no fire. It feels like I don't, I don't get any matches, you know? Huh? Fun joke, huh? <laughs> 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 This Kataro really feels quality. Everything they you have on this camper van, they kind of do it themselves. This is custom door for this thing. It's everything 
is done by themselves. This is pricey, yeah. This is 150,000 euro. Hey, check out this. How cool is this? Take from the sink. And you have extra space to cut your stuff. This is 65,000 euro. And I feel like it doesn't cost at all the money. A bit too much plastic, huh? Too much for 65. Looks a bit uh, too industrial. For 67,000 euro, these things, I think they should be a bit more polished. This thing needs to be a bit more well designed. It feels like they took a couple of pipes, drilled some holes. I think I, if I was doing myself this thing, I would be doing that, that type of style thing. Yeah, here we have quite interesting uh, concept. You see the washing machine, these drawers. And also in the front, you can have a dishwasher. Ooh, Jesus. How cool is that? This is a real home, you don't need to do anything, huh? Yeah, but I'm kind of curious how it works. Like, how many batteries do they have? You need to be in the camping to use the, all this stuff because it's energy, you have water. To, you have to plug it. This is quite interesting solution. If you quite want cool, to, yeah. To take your car with you, connect to your car, and you can uh, pull it with your camper. It's quite interesting concept where you have a uh, fridge or this bed. Which is true with the uh, with a couple of screws on the on the floor, and uh, you can remove when you want. You can have empty car. You can have you can install different blocks. That's what we're planning to do next. Our build. I yeah, didn't knew that Domatic does all for this, huh? Here we are. It's Fiamma, and we have two hatches from Fiamma. It's Fiamma's. like a small paradise for a camper and community here. Yeah, yeah they have they make accessories such as our fan and our window they are also Fiamma. Very quite fair price no? with a fair quality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were thinking about new concept for a new camper build uh, based on the rails and this can be a really good idea because it's easy easy to install and really light and just perfect probably. Yeah, imagine you can choose the height of the, of the shelves bed, yeah. underneath your bed or the height of the bed. So if you are basically on budget this can be a solution for you eh? you have thin box in the garage you just put it on in the car whatever yeah. you're going for a trip yeah you go for a weekend in the mountains sleep on the mountain i think it's perfect eh? one of these boxes the cheapest one is about 1500 euro which yeah. is kind of not cheap thing because after you need to have this uh, some attachment to your car you need to have this one so you might be spending a couple of thousand euro but this is definitely cheap and not cheaper and, and you simpler. Can use any car for it. You can put things inside of the box. It like can be like a storage sleeping yeah, bag, yeah. the storage, and uh, I feel kind of home when we walk next to NDS because it's our toys all here. Eh? You have power service, gold. You have the solar panels. You have batteries. You have inverter, which is there. And the only fat thing is, it's not sponsored by them. Eh? Cabrio model. Yeah, this is quite a simple device which just takes your fuel burn and gives hot air. We have it and I'm actually very happy that I spent the money to have it because it's really nice and comfortable, cozy and comfortable to but come back. We have previous version. After 19 years of this model, they released like a new one this year, I think, no? Yeah, not much change, just electronics and the temperature sensor here. Imagine you hiking, you are one kilometer from your car and you want to come into a warm place. What are you gonna do? You push the button and it's gonna work. Another alternative for the solar panels can be this FOE small generator on the alcohol. Yeah, so it's uh, it's not polluted. You can keep it inside the van, but it costs a bit of money. It's quiet. It's a bit of heat on the back, so you need to think about that. How much is it? Yeah, this model exactly is 4,100 euro. <coughs> A lot of money. A lot of money. So this is not the cheapest version. There is even more expensive. And this tank lasts you one month and it costs 46 euros. A bit expensive, but if you care about the planet and you need electricity all the time, 24 hours. That's going to be a good solution, a part of the solar panels, of course. Yeah, but careful, it's only 5, 7 amps an hour. It's so not that powerful. Not that powerful. So if you made kind of similar mistake as we did with the solar panels to allocate them, you can fix with this uh, Moscatelli company which makes L-shape solar panels or makes uh, it's gonna be quite good solution C yeah. shape if you intro hunting or if you intro fishing it be a good solution for you yeah,
きゃ食べろ。Check out this lighting inside, eh? Yeah, roll it, team. Feels like it does all right quality for all right price, eh? But <laughs> 55 looks. I would think think it costs 70 or something from so other brands. Consider to buy this thing. Yeah, it's not bad, eh? And lighting inside is all right. Accessories are kind of all right. The same size thing sometimes costs you 120,000 from Catargo, and this costs you 62,000. But same size, same style. They brought different materials. Yeah, you know? different quality materials and things. But. Tell me, Max, 44,000 euro for this guy. What do you think? If you desperately need one for a good price, maybe yes, but come here, come closer. See these things? We just screw it in thing, and it's already at the bottom, not glued properly. Then these cheapy hooks, Jesus, in uh, two months they're gone. They're broken. This thing is. Uh, Wobbly wobbly. Overall, overall, you can buy the thing, but I feel like it's uh, it's pretty average inside. You see this cover is uh, come. It's just uh, it's just cheap Chinese. Uh. Enough is the only company we saw which doesn't have any Wen style camper van. That's quite strange. Maybe they're hiding it somewhere. <laughs> How much this car is? Uh, 45, 44 thousand euro. How is it? Looks alright, but you know, it's still if you get into details. They need to take sanding paper and just sand it a bit. Come on, guys. And the thing is, 45 grand for this camper van is kind of lower end of the price because the good ones are 50. You can get even more expensive ones. 50, 55 is the way you get start to get kind of alright quality for the for the van style. Anything less, it's uh, you have this cheap plastic, cheap handles. And this mattress is quite comfortable. Right? Uh -huh. But this one, which has plastic around them, they are like maybe 20, 30 centimeters wider than normal one. And inside you, you start to have some spacious things, big bathroom. Now we come in and we have yeah, a look. Let's go and check. Nice lounge here. 56,000 euro, all inclusive. Yeah, and the Good cool deal. thing in this one is that this is the bed which comes down, including the shelves, all comes down and you can have a nice bed here. This one is uh, quite all right for 55,000 because uh, it's spacious, it has some uh, cool ideas with the bed. And I like design, you know, it's nice and proper bed, not like this small one that you can just remove and put it, it's yeah. like a fixed bed. And accessories are also all right. I can cook like, I can get to two Spishlein stars. Also quite spacious, but I need to check the bathroom to see the, the real quality, if it can handle the good stuff. Chico, come on, come on, Wait, do you have some paper? <coughs> yeah, they're quite nice campers here. Access? Yeah, let's go fast. <laughs> let's go away. <laughs> uh, we're usually trying to use multifunctional things while we travel and, and here you see again a really interesting idea that you use the same table, you can just move it from inside and put it outside. Yeah, you definitely see that this mobile Veta is focused on the big vans, big, yeah. big camper vans. Maybe they have small ones. I like how they made on the back here. Quite fancy, you know? Fancy lights. Nice lights, nice color. Finally, we found someone who has different design. It's the Remore, the brand, and it feels like they're making vans for really big families. A lot of beds, a lot of space, like a, the lounge space. So it's quite interesting. You can see, look, how many tables here for a small party, huh? Yeah, table here, table there, bed there, a couple of beds there. Picture it. The downside, there is no storage. Huh? Zero storage, but still quite interesting. Maybe we have some storage here. Eh? Yeah, and I think when you don't use one of the beds, it can be used as a storage. Exhibitions can be a great way to hang out with other YouTubers. We had a nice chat with Start of Agenda host about our travel experiences. Check it on their YouTube page if you speak Italian. It looks like a cool idea to sit down, to have more sitting space, but the problem when you need to Basically, if you 
come out of the rain, you need to open completely the door. And imagine it's cold outside, all this warm air is going out. And that's the point to come to Fiera, because you have a solution for everything. You, look bi you love bikes? Check this out, two bikes. And it's easy, you can, I can just, just bring one, put it here. You just need to do some exercises. Yeah, so that's how it looks from inside. If I was building myself now a camper van, or I was buying one, I think this would be the camper van behind me. Maybe not exactly, not exactly. the same brand, the same model, but the same principle kind of. You have the bed above the, the driver's seats. And it's huge. And you save so much space behind. And on the back you have two single beds. So what's gonna happen, single bed will be used by um. someone else. You can keep one and you can remove another one and use as a storage or for a bike or for a boxes, make a shelf. Or use the whole thing as a storage and just put the curtains or something. Make like a small studio office, office there. Yeah. Big screen. So it's very big, it's spacious, it has a big bed which easily climb in because inside you feel a lot of space. Yeah, this would be the, the van I would buy now. Six meters, maybe five and a half even. How much is this one? So it's cost... Uh, 44,000 euro. So think like just good value for money, I guess, you know? The quality is all right. The concept is great. I'm not sure how many batteries, if they have solar mm. panels, it's like a lot of electronics, if yeah. what they put inside. A but anything bigger than six meters in Europe, I feel like it's a headache. Unless you're traveling from camping to camping. Our mm. van is coming out of maybe 40 centimeters from the parking. So Space, yeah. five and a half meters, that's the perfect length for European parking. We're finishing our day in exhibition of campers. Oh, it was long and tiring. 12,000 steps. That's 12 kilometers pretty much. Yeah, it is. We saw too many camper vans, oh, too yeah, much. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. For one day, it was just like enough for the whole year. Again, I don't want to talk about camper vans anymore. But we really hope that you found some information useful some tips, some things. I think it's important if you want to buy one to come here and uh, see yourself. Yeah, the important thing that to have the clear idea what you want. So at this point, it's gonna be easy because you have your size, the type of the camper, and you just go and ask every company the price and what they put inside the camper and it should be quite easy. Yeah, because you know the length you want, you know the size you want, you know that you want the trunk for your motorcycle or not. So. From a lot of camper vans, you just you limit one small section and you just concentrate on that one. And I, maybe if after this video you got confused, you just you need to build your own camper. Yeah, just watch our videos and do it because we got some ideas from here, and uh, we're yeah, we saw use a couple them. of couple of cool concepts. It can be useful for us maybe for the next build. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, here we are. See uh, you somewhere around and in the next video. Yeah. Hopefully, it's not going to be about the campers because. It's too many campers, eh? Mm. Oh, too many campers. Hey, Max, are you alright? Uh, it's a little bit of explosion here. Can you find me some toilet brush?